so welcome back beautifully belly here with another video sorry if y'all hear noise in the back y'all know everybody home okay just wanted to say um hi to all my new subscribers thank you thank you thank you so much for subscribing and supporting your girl and thank you to all my og subbies hey boo hey all right guys so today's video is another story time i noticed when I went back to look at the other video that I said I was going to do it on the garden snake, but I ended up doing the Barbie house story because my spirit needed to get it out. Okay. So I'm going to do the garden snake um, story for y'all today. I did go and put a hair wrap on because I'm tired of looking busted, right? So I'm just going to hide my hair until I do it. Okay. All right. I think I hear my son coming. He's about to get the trash. Y'all know I can never have a video without it being interrupted. If that ever happened, it, it wouldn't be normal. So, all right, guys, let's jump in. All right. So, I don't know how old I was. I'll say that I probably was six. Um, Me, my older brother, my middle brother, my mom and my dad, we were downstairs watching the thriller video i think it was this day i don't know it might be this day or that might have been the day with the bumblebee i'm not sure but i'm gonna just say from what i remember it might have not been this day all right i can't say what day it was okay just know that we were having family time it was time for us to go to bed and my older brother Devin, the one who tormented me, because my other brother, he didn't torment me, the one, he didn't. We just argued a lot. And that um, reminds me of how Naya and Daquan are. They argue a lot, but they can't live without each other. So they have to like be around each other and arguing or it's just not normal. Okay. So anyway, um, my older brother, he was like acting all nice to me. He was like, oh, baby sister. Um, let me put you to bed. And I was like, okay. I'm thinking, oh my God, my big brother, he's so sweet. He's going to put me to bed to stand other blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's so sweet. But then the other part of my mind was like, wait a minute. He, he never put me to sleep before. So why do he want to put me to sleep now? Should I be worried? Right. And I know y'all might be saying that's what a six year old was thinking. But yes, guys. That's what I thought about at six years old, okay? I guess I don't have a normal brain. I don't know. Anyway, my brother's like, yeah, Tisha. Um, yeah, let me help you uh, clean up your room. And don't worry about getting the stuff off the floor. I'll do it for you. Don't worry about turning off the light. I'll do it for you. And if I can remember vividly, it wasn't even really like, it wasn't dark outside. It was like, it was getting dark, but it must have been like in the summertime and days were longer. I would say it probably was around like seven-ish, okay? So, all of a sudden, he want to put me in the bed. He's talking about offering to clean up my room. Don't worry about clicking off the light to stand up. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. All right, he's walking me over to my bed. Oh, baby sister. He lifts the cover up. Get in. Get in the bed. He tucks me in. And when I say he tucked me in, he tucked me in. Like, he tucked the covers in underneath the mattress. He's tucking me in, tucking me in. I'm like, wow, I've never been tucked in before by my brother. And I've been tucked in by my parents. I've never been tucked in this tight before. Should I be worried? The 99% of my brain was like, oh, my God, my brother's being a great big brother. But that 1% was like, uh-uh, something's not right. So I'm, I'm telling myself, Tisha, you're probably overthinking it. Just go with the flow. Get in the bed. He tucks me in, turns my light off, and um, hold on. Oh, that's Naya cleaning the cat litter box. If y'all hear all that noise, that's what that is. Naya, I hope you got gloves on. Um, He tucks me in. And all of a sudden, I'm laying there, right? And I'm like, okay. All of a sudden, I started feeling something in the bed, smacking me up against my leg. So I'm like, wait a minute. 
Am I tripping or did I just feel something underneath the cover? So uh, I'm laying there a little bit more. And I feel this thing again and I'm like, oh my God. I think it's something in the bed. So immediately I get out the bed. It took me a while because I had I was tucked in so good that uh, I couldn't get out the bed. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm losing my train of thought because that noise. Um, finally get out the bed. I pull the covers back. It's a freaking garden snake in my bed. And when I say a garden snake, I meant a long one. All right. It might have been this big. But still, it was a garden snake. I, I, I was so upset. I remember screaming, calling my brother. I remember crying. And I remember saying, why would you do that to me? Why would you put a snake in my bed? And then I remember going to tell my mom and dad what happened. And I vividly remember my brother standing there laughing at me. <sighs> that was his thing. Every time I found out, he would laugh. That was like his signature. Um... Yeah, and I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, a whole garden snake. And see, my brother, he was the type where he would go in the backyard and find garden snakes. I've always seen them with snakes or whatever the case may be. Even now, he's like animal kingdom, okay? He's had every pet. And it was like, why would you take this nasty thing out the dirt and put it in my bed? What if he would have bit me? Yeah, so after that, I never let him tuck me in again. That was the end of that. You got me one time, but you wasn't going to get me again. So, yeah, guys, that was the story about how my brother put a garden snake in my bed and pretended like he was being a good brother. Yeah, so, um, I think I'm going to let off on the brother stories. Cause they really do something to my spirit. They like really rattle my spirit. Because it kind of takes me back. It's like a time machine. When I talk about these stories, it kind of just takes me back. And put me in that exact moment when it happened. And it's just like all those feelings come back up. Some of these stories I haven't even told since I was a kid. So... Yeah, guys. Um, yeah. So if nobody told you that you're enough today, you are just the way you are with no strings attached. And if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and blessings. Until the next one, guys.